Hello class, this afternoon we'll be discussing the questions we have on the Telegram group. We'll be discussing the question we have on the Telegram group and the class is being recorded so that you can follow up after the class or even if you meet. Like I usually call it, I say weekend class or weekend review where we just sit down and chat one on one. So, so this afternoon, this is the first question here is, I planted a coconut seedling in my compound about four months ago but they didn't dig as wide as you've explained, nor did I had any man know. But we wet it well in the morning and evening. Can I still dig around the plant and adjust accordingly or it's late? Yes, you can still dig around the plant. It is not late. Yes, you can dig around and apply manual. But you know, this is sample. This is how you apply the manual. You dig around it, put manual, and give it and be giving it water so that it will the root will eventually go and pick water. The root will grow, will come here to pick water. The manual must not touch the plant so that it will not burn it no matter what. So you dig because it's already growing. So you dig around and put Mano, it is not late. You can still put mano, and you continuously put mano even when they have grown. You still continue to put mano. Okay, so now the next question said, I'm really amazed by that coconut tree of a client of yours that produced 500 to 600 fruits. I'm going to show you right there two sides of the coconut tree. This is one side of the tree. You can see the building, and I'll show you the another. See, you can't achieve 500 fruits in one year, two years, three years, four, five years. It has to be about eight, seven, eight, nine years before you achieve this kind of fruiting. Let me be candid with you. But in your first year, in your first year, you are looking at 50, 60, even to 100. You can get 100 if you take great care of it. As in your first year of fruiting, not your first year of planting. You remember, we will not start harvesting until the fourth year. The third year, it starts fruiting and will not become big just immediately. So we will not start harvesting until the fourth year. But if you take great care of it in the first year and the other year, if you keep giving them manure, if you keep giving them mano, then you are sure they will grow very big. Mano and uh, mano and uh, and uh, water, consistent water, and you take care of the pests in charge that will come. You cannot achieve five hundred fruit in first year. It's keep growing 100, 150, 200, 300, and yes, you are going to get 500 fruit. But please maintain that. See the other side, see a better, bigger side of the tree. The same tree you saw there, you can see it in front of in front of the house. See one side there, see one side. And it still has some other side. I think I have three, I have three sides of it. I can only find two now when I saw the class, that's why I had it there. Mm. So yes, if you start to count this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. You, these are some here. They are here. Then they still have some other side. It has different bunch in different, different side. But it did not grow to this stage in the first year. No, 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 please. Okay, the next question. Also, you saw compassed and disease prevention, especially for legumes. And I remember you once posted on Facebook about the use of neem for pest control. Could you please explain in details the use of neem and other organic methods for pest control? Now, look at it there. Prominent constituent in neem, there's a, uh, and the actor, active ingredient. You know, when you buy chemicals or pesticide, they will tell you what's the active ingredient. So a lot of, uh, so the active ingredient in neem is as a disrupting. The active ingredient in neem is as, a, as an attractive. It acts as antifeedant, repellent, and repugnant agent and induces sterility in insects. It interrupts sperm production in males. Another factor, another way it performs is, another way it behaves is, um, another way neem behaves is that it suffocates the pest. For instance, the uh, agent as a detracting, it does not allow the as a detracting. Uh, for pests that are eating your leaves or that are eating your coconut leaves or your that are destroying your roots, the roots, the whatever. As a detracting in the in neem, suffocate them. They will not be able to breathe. And when they are not able to breathe, when they are not able to breathe, they eventually they will not be able to eat and then they they die. But for the pests, there are some beneficial pests like uh, that are beneficial pests that are not eating your leaves or your roots or your notes. 
those ones, they will not be affected by the neem. So neem block their respiratory, their breathing organs. Doesn't allow pests to breathe, especially the ones that eat your plants. So the active ingredient in neem is azadutractin. So now, how to use neem? You spray neem all over the leaves, but especially the underside where insects like to hide. You drench the soil around the roots as well. Do not spray in full sun as neem may cause leaf burn. Do not spray in full sun. So the best time to spray is either early in the morning before sunrise, if you can wake up, or late at night before sunset. You cannot spray in the hot sun or it will burn the leaves. Apply in the evening to avoid the azadratin being destroyed by sunlight. So these are things you need to know when you are using neem leaf, neem as pesticide. Now, how to make neem solution? Take 500 grams of neem leaves, wash it and chop it for a faster result. Now, the grams you take depends on the quantity you want to make. If you want to increase, you can increase to 1,000, 1 kg. You can increase to 2 kg, depending on the size of your farm or the quantity of neem you intend to make. Mix it with 5 liters of water. So it means if you are increasing to 1 kg, you mix it with 10 liters of water, according to what you want to produce. Put the mixture in the jerry can and let it ferment, as in let it stay in the jerry can for around 14 days. Then you add extra water to it for you to spray your farm. So that's how neem works. Now, how to use neem oil as an organic insecticide. Neem oil are extracted using an oil expeller. I remember I once buy an oil expeller, but the quantity inside the neem is very small. But if you can be able to extract, it's a very good one for neem oil. Mix detergent and warm water. Add neem oil and mix. Spray. Reapply regularly. Unlike your normal uh, pesticide and everything that you add, when you use neem, you reapply like and uh, once every two weeks or, you know, it's not like something you spray and just forget about it because it does not kill most of these things. It just make them inactive for a period of time. So that is that about neem. So it's like a lot of people forgot our class today. Now, other organic methods that you can use, the questions I picked from Telegram groups. All these questions, I picked them from the Telegram group. That's why I said drop your question. I'll pick and I'll respond to them. The class is being recorded for those that are not here. The internet connection is unstable. Sorry, don't worry, we'll soon finish. Plant flowers, other organic method. Plant flowers like marigold, basil, lemongrass. Number two, use insect traps like pheromones. Pheromones, when you get to pepper class, I'm not sure if you read our pepper class, you will learn a lot about pheromones. Is a uh, is a kind of uh, a kind of insect trap. It's used for insect traps. Then use yellow paper sticker. Those are the things you use for organic method, other organic method of pest control. Now, question from Telegram. In addition, I've read that chicken manure may take about six weeks to compose before use. Sorry, my sister. However, when used to produce mag meal and fit her down to another container, can we use that liquid directly as fertilizer on the plant? No, I've never used it, so I won't be able to say, but I don't think, because it will stay, no, I don't think so. As fertilizer on the plant, or we must wait until another couple of weeks. I think it should be better to wait another couple of weeks, because the high nitrogen, there will be an high nitrogen content in the, in the water, in the liquid that is taken from the mag meal, so it will, it's not advisable to use it, no. Now, the next question. Good morning, Madam Yinka. The dry season tomato farming class is incomplete. It jumps from the 